Hello. Well, if you're watching this, I presume you are thinking of studying S283 Planetary Science and the Search for Life at the Open University, or have already signed up for it and would like to find out a little bit more. So I'm going to help you out. I'm Dave Rothery. I'm the module team chairman for S283. I have been for several years now, but that doesn't mean it's an old course because as you can imagine with planetary science things are changing all the time and we have new editions of both books which came out in late 2011 so U 2012 intake will be the second intake of students to study from these. We begin with an introduction to the solar system which does what it says and then the second book an introduction to astrobiology where we're looking at the at what life is and the prospects of life on other planetary bodies. That's your main means of learning, but we have a very active um, course forum online. And it's part of last year's forum. It's, it'll take you a while to find your way around that, but there's a lot of chatter between students and tutors and the central academic staff like myself on there. And you're guided through your study on the course uh, by uh, an online calendar. Um, other materials, well, there's a uh, a uh, DVD with some of the activities on there. We've also got some video uh, for you to look at online as well. And of course, at the end of it all, there is an exam. This is not your exam, this is last year's exam. And there's a specimen exam paper uh, on the course website. And you should familiarise yourself uh, with that uh, so you know the kind of thing to expect. But don't get too worried about the exam. It's... Um, most students find it a very interesting course to do because there's always something new. We find that about half our students have a geology background and are heading towards a, an earth science focus in their degree and half have a physics and astronomy background. So you'll be mixing with and exchanging ideas with students from a different background to yourself some of the time and that's sort of a good. Um, now you, if you studied the now discontinued course um, uh, S196 planets, that was, uh, that was me, so you may have come upon me there. I also currently chair the Volcanoes, Earthquakes and uh, Tsunamis course, so you may have come upon me through that as well. Or you may even have read my marvellous little book, Planets, A Very Short Introduction. So uh, that's a marvellous book for you to study if you want some more background. Um, OK, so this is my office. Believe it or not, I've tidied it up so you could have a, uh, a look at it. So this is where I'm based and I'll take you outside in the corridor and show you a little more. Now I'm the lead scientist on one of the instruments that's going to fly to Mercury on ESA's mission Bepi Colombo. So right outside I have a recent mosaic of Mercury acquired by a NASA orbiter called Messenger. Uh, here we have a poster by a student of ours who's working on volcanism on Mars and as we, we move down here's a poster by other people uh, about periglacial effects on Mars, there's some planetary atmosphere stuff here and in this room here this is where our postdocs and PhD students work here's a postdoc still working here even though it's gone five o'clock and over here the PhD students also still hard at work Right, I'm in a different building now. This is where several of my academic colleagues work. Just around the corner here is Dr Mahesh Anand, who's an expert on the moon, who works on S283. Mahesh, what are you doing right now? Oh, hi Dave. I'm looking at a probation report for one of my PhD students who is uh, working on lunar samples. There you go. So we have research going on here as well as teaching. And what do you teach on S283, Mahesh? Well, I teach the uh, geochemistry aspect of S283, uh, where uh, students are taught how to interpret chemical signatures of meteorites, what meteorites are, and uh, uh, part of book two, uh, where we talk about Mars, where we talk about life, the origins of life, and such things. So there you go, Mahesh is a very talented man. And just round the corner here is where another colleague of ours, Dr. Manish Patel, works. He was here a few minutes ago. But now he's gone. Well, I've come back and Dr Manish Patel is here this time. Hi Manish. Morning. Manish is the newest member of the uh, S283 course team. What are you up to today Manish? Today I'm working on a proposal to remove dust from the solar panels of spacecraft on the surface of Mars. 
Okay, so anybody at home, if you've got a spacecraft on Mars that's too dusty, Manish is your man. Manish, you were also involved in the uh, Huygens probe that landed on Titan, weren't you? Yes, we were. We were involved in building instruments for that. I did that as part of my um, PhD, actually. So I did that as a, as a student coming through many years ago. Yeah, and can you just tell us what you now do on S283? So now I'm, um, I'm, I'm part of the course team. I rewrote part of the Titan chapter and I'm generally taking part in, in, in all of the assessment that goes on throughout the year. Okay, so if you don't like the TMA, send all your hate messages to Manish, not to me. <laughs> Thanks, Manish. Take care. Right, now I'm in a different building. This is where the curriculum support teams are based. Around here is James, who's the curriculum manager for S283. Hi, James. Hello, Dave. And you do 282 as well. And 282. So some as of well. our students will have come upon you already. Absolutely. Yep. If anything's wrong with the course, it's James that you have to complain to, not me. And just along here is a Shaya, who's the uh, curriculum assistant, and it's a Shaya who turns all the assignment material and all the online content into good form. Hi, Shaya. Say hello to the students. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Well, here I am back in my office. Um, I hope I've given you a decent insight into uh, the course and you've met some of the people that work on the course team. One thing I didn't mention is the tutor marked assignments. These are ETMAs um, provided online and submitted online. Um, there are four of these during the year. Um, new for 2012, they're only three quarter length TMAs. Um, so they should take you three quarters of the time of a, of a normal TMA. These are all accessed via the uh, course website. Um, you would go down to the um, assessment link, which would be down here. Click on that and uh, click on the link for whichever assignment you want to see. Um, well, on screen, this is last year's website. Your first TMA for this year is going to be this document here, which is a uh, this is just a draft, it's not been properly formatted yet by a share. Um, there are questions based on some geochemical data. Um, there are questions based on looking at some impact craters. Three different impact craters um, of very different styles, but you, are, are on the basis of what you will have learned in the first part of Introduction to the Solar System, will be able to hopefully understand the different scales and the processes which make craters like this and there's an activity using the online crater calculator where you can compute the size of a projectile that would make an impact crater of a given size and hopefully that TMA will uh, work nice and smoothly. So basically that's all I wanted to say. If you do decide to join us on S283 have a great year. You'll be mixing with students from a variety of backgrounds and that's all to the good. Um, that's important in science these days to be working on the boundaries of disciplines and planetary science really is on the boundary between so many disciplines there's so much happening but i hope you have a great time studying with us and we'll go on to do uh, similar courses in the future okay have a good year if you join us bye